Yeah. All right, how's it going, everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another undisputed video and a request video today. I never get any anything like this on the channel. Any requests to play as certain boxes and that, or fighters on other games. So this one's come from I think his name was the Warrior Whitaker, and he's asked for Joe Fraser against uh, Sugar Ray Robinson. So unfortunately, mate, I can only meet you halfway with this. We can obviously pick for it, uh, Joe Fraser, but Ray Robinson is not pick up, uh, selectable in the heavyweight division in this game. So I'll meet you halfway. Uh, who can we go against? Preferably against somebody with the same or higher stats than me. So it's either going to be Ali, Fury, Marciano. Shame. Floyd Patterson's a little bit less than us. Uh, who should we go against? Should we go against the types of Fury? Do you know what? It doesn't matter, does it? We'll go against Patterson. I've not actually fought against his AI yet, so... This should be a good opportunity to see what he's like with all the... the like the recent tweaks they did over the past couple of months. Uh, we'll go with the, the, the Kiritsu Arena. Not picked the Japanese arena for a while. Speaking of updates, I'm kind of like periodically checking the Steam page for another update for this game. The devs did say it was like just over a month over a month ago. I think they did the last update, and I think they said they were planning on releasing that uh, the forward head movement slipping. In the next update, so Time for the to stop and the I'm keeping my eye out for that. This should be good. I've been messing with a few settings in the options. Me, Johnny Nelson. As you can see, there's no crowd. I've turned off the crowd density. Just gives me a bit, a little bit more FPS on the, on my system, which is a little bit underpowered to be running this game. But I've found that if I if I turn the crowd density down to zero, I can get 60 FPS. And I can still maintain the the, uh, the high resolution textures. Uh, well, the texture settings on its highest. I think it's on ultra, so it's a fair trade off. I don't give a shit about what's going on the, in the crowd. To be honest, you've still got that crowd audio loop going in the background. So, and I think on other arenas, I think on the uh, the WBC arena, when you when you turn down the crowd density to zero, like when you're actually appear in the fight. The background's a little bit blurred, so it like blares out the empty seats, so it's like a focused, kind of looks like a depth of field thing going on in the ring, so it's, it's a nice little touch. Just blares out that background so you don't see all those empty seats. Hiding out of the blue corner from Brooklyn, New York. Here is the Olympic gold medalist and the two-time heavyweight champion of the world and truly one of the all-time greats, introducing Floyd Patterson. So much hype surrounding Still going to get a couple of frame drops. It's it like, is this is like pushing me system to its limit this game and maybe my laptop's so, so a little bit outdated to be running this. Like while using OBS at the same time, like on my laptop to record, so it's like we laugh it's it's having to do a lot on my laptop, like you know. And I don't know what it is. I've been like messing with settings on my OBS to try because I, I keep noticing on my recordings, I kind of get like it's like a couple of seconds worth of drop frames, and then it goes back to 60 FPS again. And I'm like, is that just because my system is just like? You know, it's it's kind of pressed with like running the game and uh, running OBS at the same time. And I'm, I'm, I've not got all like my resolutions cranked up. I've got it like at a a reasonable ten, in 1080p, and I'm going for 60 FPS. But I'm like, is that is that oh nice lead uppercut there from Floyd? Is that like too demanding for my system? But it's like it might be because when I've checked me UFC 4 gameplay, and that's a game that I record from obviously my PS5. So the PS5's having to do the brunt of the work actually running the game and it, all my laptop has to do is just record record with OBS so there's no pressure on my laptop to, But when I look at me 
like with games like this and games that I'm like playing on the PC and recording on at the same time. Like I'm looking at the performance, I've got like a MSI Afterburner and you know you can bring all your stats up on screen and like me, me core temperatures and me like and me GP, I mean I don't know nothing about PCs, I'm a console scrub so I'm, I'm sort of learning as I'm going with like dealing with PC performance stuff and but all the all the numbers that I'm seeing on me uh, on me river tuner stats that like nothing's like overheating every like the temperatures are around like 70 percent like 75 like nothing's really um like is it did they call it bottlenecking like I, like I say I, I, all these PC, PC terms this feels too easy this to be honest with the damage cranked up even just by one notch look at this I'm knocking them down in the first round yeah, so I don't know what it is, like, like when I record things like WWE 2K23, it's like 60 FPS, but I, I look back at the, at the record, like the game, while I'm playing the game, I'm not getting any frame drops, I'm noticing with this, with this game I do, because it's the most abandoned game that I've got on my laptop, but with other games like 2K23, like when I'm actually playing the game or recording the AI more accurately, I'm noticing it's like, oh, the game's locked 60, but then when I look back at the recording, from OBS, I'm getting like these like choppy uh, it's about maybe 5 to 10 seconds where the frame rate will just drop below 60 where it, you know I can notice that it's dropped it starts stuttering a little bit um, and it happens with uh, Fight Nights Fight Night 2004 career by uh, running on the PS2 emulator I'm noticing it there as well it'll be like 60, uh, 60 FPS for most of the video and then there'll be like about 30 seconds of worth of footage where the frame rate will just drop to about like, I don't know, 30, 40 FPS, and then it'll crank back up to 60 again. And then it'll stay at 60. So I, I don't know what the problem is. I've spent like weeks and weeks going through tutorials online, looking up bullshit threads on Reddit, and people are saying, oh, turn this off, make sure you've got that disabled, and blah, blah. Like, I know everyone's settings are going to be different, so. But long story short, I haven't found any solution. Everything that I try that people have suggested never works I don't know if you're one of these people as well it's like you, you, you test like a hundred different solutions and none of it works but then you look at the comment sections of the videos and for the first video that you bring up and it like there's about like 50 comments where people saying great tutorial this worked for me and then people will leave comments like great tutorial can't wait to try this out it's like why are you saying thank you when you've not even tested it you know what I mean it's like I hate comments like that in videos it's like oh thank great information and it's like but I've not tested the information to see if it's good information. I'll just leave a good comment anyway. I hate shit like that. So yeah, nothing's worked is the point I'm getting at. I've fiddled with settings in OBS. Like I say, I've not got everything cranked up too much. It's just 1080p. I'm not going for like 4K or nothing like that. And I've recorded other games. With it, I just feel like, like I say, it might be a... a, a an issue with the laptop having to do both things, so recording and running the game, because, like I say, when I've recorded my UFC 4 gameplays, that I don't notice any drop in frames there, and I'm, it's, you know, the PlayStation's out doing, doing more of the work by running the game that the laptop is not having to do, so I think that might be actually what it is, I don't know. But I just think, well, why is, it, why is the laptop able to achieve 60 for most games that I play and it might have a few frame drops here and there but it can still achieve 60 like if it was that strenuous on the system like it wouldn't stay at 60 would it like I don't know like I say this is all maybe uh, some PC some PC tech heads I don't know Pemby if you're watching this mate I know you're good you're good with the PCs mate you might have more of an insight I know you've got a, a pretty decent rig um, I've got like a fucking pauper's rig compared to probably what you've got so maybe you could shed some light on it I know I've seen in one of your other videos someone commented about recording and you you recommended that they use uh, Nvidia shadow play and I do have that but I noticed the same thing was happening there like I've noticed the same things so that's what makes me think it, it might be too taxing for me system I think that's might might be what it is if, it, if it's happening with two different recording softwares um, then maybe, maybe that's what it is. Maybe my laptop is just. But the thing is, though, I can I could test it with like a game that is not demanding to run at all. You know that my laptop should easily be able to run and record at the same time, and I still will get the same issue happening. So 
it, it makes me doubt. Like, I, I feel like this lap shop should be, it's got a, a, a GTX 1080 in it. Uh, I think the processor is an i7, I think, it, oh, I can't remember the number, it's something like a 6820HK. It's inside of a MSI a GT73 VR, VR Titan. So it's only a 2017 laptop, like, you know. It's only like a six-year-old laptop, but... You know, and I can run some like decent, sort of, like de f like demanding games. I don't know, like open world games. I was playing a bit of Far Cry Five the other day, and everything was running smoothly. But again, just as soon as I press record, like the game will be fine, and then to just be like a, maybe like five to ten seconds, or in some games maybe a thirty-second stretch of of drop frames, and it's not like a slideshow or nothing. It, I'm just noticing it's dipped from sixty. You know, I can see that kind of that smoothness disappear. And then it'll go back to 60 again, so... I don't know. I've done other things as well, like tested other tips that people have left on comment section, like turning off, uh, is it game mode? Like in the in the window settings, all that's been turned off. I've turned off game mode, so there's not there's not on the, like other processors running in the background. Turned all that shit off. I've, I've disabled and enabled. I think is it GPU hardware acceleration in the settings. I've turned that. I've messed with that stuff. It doesn't seem to have made it uh, much of a difference. I've tried different encoder settings in OBS. I'm using the uh, the NVIDIA NVENC x264 one i'm using that i'm recording an mp4 format um i've tried alternating from going from constant bit rate at a 40,000 uh, bit rate for my recordings i think yeah, the other constant bit rate setting and then i've tried is it the, C the cqr setting on obs i've tried that and the, you know the quality it, the actual quality comes out nice, you know, but it, it's just, I get the same problem. Like, I just get a little bit of stutter every now and again. Well, it, and it's just drop frames. It's, it's not like a slideshow or nothing. You know, I see a lot of comments where people saying that the that OBS capture footage is actually like a slideshow and it's like unbearable to watch, but mine's not that bad. It's just like a, it's just a slight drop from 60. You know, but to, and what makes me doubt even more that it's, it, it might be, my system might not be good enough to run it. Like I see people saying that they've got like a 30, 90 graphics card and a, and a a really good processor, so like way better than what I've got. And they're running games that should be like child play to, to run and record at the same time, and they're still getting issues. So that's what makes me think. Oh, well, I shouldn't. I should. I should be all right. It shouldn't be a case of my system not being powerful enough to run it. So I, I honestly, the more I try and understand what the problem is, the the more confused I end up being. Do you know what I mean? So, I don't know. Or maybe it's just something I've got to live with. Maybe it's just something I've just got to accept. My laptop might not be up to par when it comes to doing things. I don't know. I haven't got a clue. But it drives me mad, you know, not being able to find the solution. And I'm one of those people that will sit there for hours and hours and hours until the solution has been found. I can't just, like, let it go. And if it if I don't find it by the end of the day, I'll do it the next day. And like I say, I've been... I've been trying to do this for weeks like even months not like daily like there'll be times when I'll be like fuck it I can't be bothered putting so much time into trying to fix that I'll just I'll just uh, I'll deal with it and then I'll be watching some of my gameplays back on YouTube and I'll see the stuff that happening and I'm like oh I can't I can't handle it I need to get it fixed and then I'll go on like another marathon session of trying to solve the problem like I can't let it go Oh, hard right straight to the body there. Good left hand. Trying to get some of this, like, Frasier kind of movement going. The only thing I don't like about doing this, it drains your stamina, whereas just doing this doesn't affect your stamina at all. Like the, the L2 weave, but the click and the analog stick in, as you can see there, your stamina's... Oh, nice little shot there off that off that slip. Try to go to the body a bit more. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few.
So yeah, if you can, any uh, any PC bros out there want to offer a console scrub, a bit of bit of advice, a bit of mind, you'll have to draw it in crayon for me because there's a lot of PC fucking. I'm, I'm a new PC game, relatively new PC gamer. I have fixed a lot, like a lot of issues myself, just by tinkering. I am a bit of a tinkerer, but there's a lot of stuff I don't understand. Like, I, I feel like it doesn't matter what system you've got, a lot of the times you fucking still have problems, you know? It's like, it's the nature of having a PC. Oh, nice pull counter uppercut there. Beautiful combination. I end up like leaning into punches, <laughs> more punches that I'm trying to dodge. Oh, nice head movement there from Floyd. Oh, beautiful slip to the left and a nice left hook and right straight. Oh, we recovered quickly. Oh, counter right straight. Oh, hit him again with that right straight. Oh, and a little pussy right straight to the body. Knocked him down. Is that going to be it? God, that punch was a, not even a power shot and he went down off it. So there you are, Warrior Whitaker. Couldn't give you Ray Robinson, unfortunately, but you get Joe Frazier. We'll meet you halfway, mate. Thanks for your request. I, I never get any requests on this channel to do anything like this, so I appreciate it. Ask and I shall receive. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Like I say, have you got any tips on how to combat any kind of frame drops with OBS, if it's even compatible, I might just have to live with it, I don't know any tips would be appreciated anyway, I'm going to leave it there, thanks very much for watching everyone, take care and I'll see you in the next one